Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the weekend. Welcome to Friday. Uh, today is Friday the 9th of uh, February 2024 to Peace Through the Word. Daily devotional ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, Benson, Arizona, in Cochise County of the United States of America, a Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod congregation. I'm Pastor Ron York of that congregation, and again, so good to welcome you this weekend. My brothers and sisters, this morning we're going to talk about the subject of tears, crying. What do you think about that? Hopefully it's going to bless us, inspire us, and give us genuine real peace this morning as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, O Lord, open our lips and our mouths will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver us. Make haste to help us, O Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And so our devotional is going to talk about the subject of tears. And um, so I pray it's going to bless us this morning. And the passage of scripture is St. John chapter 11, verse 35. It is the shortest passage of scripture in the entire Bible. It's only two words. And those two words are, Jesus wept. He cried. So let's see what, how that applies to us today on Friday, February the 9th. It says, I avoided crying when I was a kid. Most of my tears had to do with my falling and scraping something, but I was embarrassed to show weakness and pain. I believed that if I didn't cry when I got hurt, it meant I was strong and tough. Who wouldn't want to be cool like that? John Kennedy Jr., when he was a small boy, uh, was on a skiing uh, event, and he was skiing downhill, and he fell, and he cried. He was crying. Apparently, he hurt himself. Ted Kennedy, the senator, skis up to him and looks down at him, and he says, Hey, what are you crying for? Kennedys don't cry. And John F. Kennedy Jr. looked at him, and he said, This one does. So, Jesus wouldn't want us to not cry. The shortest verse in the Bible t tells us so much about Jesus. When he saw Lazarus' sisters mourning over their brother's death, Jesus was moved to tears. He wept over their sorrow, their anguish. Jesus knew he would bring Lazarus back to life, healing the hurt of these people. Yet even with the power to restore all things, he was troubled by the sadness of those around him, and he took a moment to cry over what was lost. Our Savior does not just act for his people. He feels for them also. He feels for us. Every time, all the time. Now that I'm older, I understand that tears are nothing to be ashamed of. They well up when we are deeply moved, often by sorrow. And Jesus weeps with us. He knows all of our burdens better than we do. And he really knows because he went to the cross with our sin weighing upon him. But he rose again, triumphing over sin and death forever. Yes, there will come a day when he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. But Jesus loves us today. And his love is enough. I pray that will bless us, inspire us, and give us genuine real peace this morning in an incredible way. So, my brothers and sisters, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. So taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer, and together we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We profess the Christian faith and we use the words of the Apostles' Creed. So together we profess. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So hear our prayer, O Lord, let our cries come to you. In the day of our troubles we call upon you, for you answer us. Hide your face from our sins and blot out all our iniquities. Create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Restore to us the joy of your salvation and uphold us with a willing spirit because your steadfast love is better than life. Our lips will praise you for you have been our help and in the shadow of your wings we will sing for joy. Teach us your way, O Lord, that we may walk in your truths and unite our hearts to fear your name. We give thanks to you, O Lord our God, with our whole heart, and we will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you, and may those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to our prayer and listen to our pleas for grace. We continue to pray. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept us this night from all harm and danger. And we pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil, that all of our doings in life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls and all things. Let your holy angels be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, thank you again for chiming in this morning to Peace Through the Word. Pray that you've received a blessing from it. It's going to be a nice day, I think, today here in southern Arizona. So I pray wherever you might be, it'll be it's a good day there as well. So I convey all of our Lord's blessings to you in abundance and wish you all tremendous blue skies. <laughs>